Spicy MedTech here, and this video will be a continuation of our parasitology series. In our last video, we left off at nematodes, specifically Ascaris. In today's video, I will be discussing Trituris tritura, or the whipworm. Without further ado, let's begin. Now, Trituris tritura is a nematode, also belonging po sa ating phylum nematoda. It is also known as the whipworm, and are commonly found in the tropics, including the Philippines. They are more prevalent in developing countries due to the absence of advanced sanitation techniques and practices. Now, one can get infected with trituris after an individual ingests an embryonated egg which matures in the soil. Now, the appearance of the ova of this parasite is very distinct. As we can see here, its ova is thick-shelled consisting of an outer and an inner shell, a developing embryo, and a pair of polar plugs at each end. These are passed in stool onto the soil where it continues to develop before it becomes infective. Now the adult worms as we can see here bear similarities to that of a bullwhip, hence the name whipworm. The female, similar to the Ascaris adult, appears larger than the male. Now one would speculate that the larger and much thicker end of this worm is the anterior part but it is actually the posterior part. The smaller end is actually the part that burrows itself into the mucosa of the colon, leaving the larger end outside. Now as mentioned earlier, these eggs are found in the soil where it matures for about 15 to 30 days before it can become infective or have the ability to infect an unsuspecting host. Once these embryonated eggs are ingested, it ends up in the small intestine where it hatches and releases larvae wherein they mature into adult worms. Once these male and female adult worms reproduce, the female could then lay up to 20,000 eggs per day until it is again passed in the stool onto the soil and the cycle continues. Now the clinical picture of trichuriasis is as follows. In light infections, our patients who have a very minimal worm burden are expected to not express any symptoms or remain asymptomatic. In moderate infections, symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, and mild abdominal pain. In heavier infections, both the pain and diarrhea are expected to increase in volume. Dysentery syndrome is possible. It is not the dysentery you might think of like that of the dysentery brought about by gram-negative bacteria, although its symptoms are very similar in nature, but it is not dysentery per se. Another expression of a heavy infection is rectal prolapse. Now before I tell you what a rectal prolapse is, if you are sensitive to imagery that are a bit graphic, you may pause the video and skip. Now, rectal prolapse is a condition seen in more severe cases of trichuriasis, in which the lower portion of the colon protrudes outside of the body. This is because the rectum loses its internal support because the worms burrow their heads into the intestinal lining, loosening the elastic epithelium and weakening the surrounding muscles. Now, this is diagnosed in ways similar to that of Ascaris, and that is through both adult and ova identification through fecal microscopy and adult identification through colonoscopy. The treatment of trichuriasis are these two antihelminthic drugs that interfere with the parasite's ability to assemble microtubules in the form of albendazole and mebendazole. To summarize, Trituris tritura is also known as the whipworm. It is found in the tropics or places with fairly warm climates. Its mode of transmission is through ingestion via the fecal oral route with the eggs embryonating and becoming infective in the soil. Patients with light infections or smaller worm burdens may remain asymptomatic and those with heavy infections may have more serious symptoms. It is treated with drugs that interfere with the microtubule synthesis of these parasites, namely albendazole and mebendazole. It is prevented once again with good sanitation practices. And that would be all. Please subscribe if you're new here for more medical technology content like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.